One of the things we were just talking about, is there a need to establish a greatest of all time? There's the 90s, there's now, different eras of playing. What's the deal here? Hey, Damon Jones said tread lightly, by the way. What's your words? <laughs> Damon Jones said tread lightly. I'm just passing the message on. What am I trying to do? Hey, I don't know. What am I trying to do? He said, watch on. your mouth, Jay. All right. Hey, that's loyal. <laughs> yeah, Damon but Jones you know is what? loyal. You know what's actually funny? I think loyalty comes up in this argument a lot. Because LeBron James chose to leave, right? Michael Jordan obviously had his stint with the Washington Wizards, but he was seen to be a loyal guy, especially when it comes to Chicago. And I think LeBron James's loyalty sort of hurts him because he chose to leave Cleveland. There, though, is where he got the blueprint how to win, right? Mm -hmm. And he got two um, championships in Miami, returns to Cleveland. And if you listen to that whole soundbite, it was the narrative in which LeBron James said, I am the greatest because guess what? I broke this 52-year sports curse. I was the guy that was born. Born in Akron, born and raised, dubbed to be the savior, had a lot of pressure on myself, and on top of it, dealt with the social, political, you know, climate that he's inserted himself in. And the only excuse you can say is, hey, maybe he's disloyal. He left again. Now he's in L.A. Now, if he wins in L.A., think about three championships mm, in three, different, in three different cities. That's next level, and that, to me, is the number one argument for GOAT. Go ahead, Brian. You, you, you want to eat? Okay. Yeah. Let me, let me throw this out here. Mm-hmm. If you pair LeBron James and his team up against those Utah Jazz teams that we, we say Michael was the greatest off of, LeBron cooks them. It's a cookout. You mean to tell me Greg Ostertag is going to come out in the pick and roll and guard LeBron James? From a strategic standpoint, you guys know this, playoff basketball, you got to match up with LeBron James. You don't have a shot if you don't have five or six capable defenders to actually guard him. Byron Russell and Howard Isley guarded Michael Jordan, Jeff Hornacek in certain situations. You mean to tell me Jeff Hornacek would switch off onto LeBron James? I just don't know when we go era for era how you control the two. If you put Michael on that Cavaliers team, I think he goes out fighting. I think he averages 40, 50 points a game, but that ultimately last year getting knocked out of the playoffs. I know the, the, the edge, the, the knock that Stephen A. and Max throw out to, to Jordan. They say he's competitive. He's a dog. There's not too many built like him. Different ways of but if, yeah, yeah, yeah. if there's someone built to handle the 90s physicality, it might be LeBron James. But, Jay, I think LeBron, real quick, I think he is a special entity in that he can turn his competitiveness off and on. And believe me, I've seen it. You know what it was? It was, I said it earlier, that I thought he was a graceful assassin. We've never seen somebody mm. become an iconic figure with a game with the way he scored. Like, Michael Jordan was the greatest scorer of all time. He could score on anybody. And he made everything look so damn pretty all the time. Like, it was effortless. And I think when that gets engraved into your mind... That's a very high bar. Now, look, I don't care what anybody says. I got lucky to win a championship in college. I did. Look, look who he's cooking. That's Larry Bird. I, I, Larry Bird can't guard I, LeBron. I, I, did, I did not win a championship oh at the next level in the NBA. There's a certain element of luck it takes to win a championship. It okay? does. Yep. Ray Allen makes a shot from the corner for Miami Facts. to win a championship. Facts. All right, you're talking Preach. about B.J. Armstrong, John Paxson, Steve Kerr. Draymond Green gets Draymond suspended Green in 2016. Suspended. Allows him to do it. Like, there's always luck that comes into that. I know it's an oxymoron when you say luck along with Michael Jordan, but it's true. I think why I say LeBron is the greatest of all time, because I, I don't look for one thing. I look for the entire package. I look, how are you going to lead like a Muhammad Ali type of leader? Like, LeBron has been doing that. He's been inserting himself. Granted, he's made some mistakes. We all do. But he's living under a different kind of microcosm, a different microscopic eye than what we've ever had before. And my question goes back to this. Is a, granted, this is a legitimate question. Mm. Granted, Michael Jordan might have adapted to the times. But I wonder if we would be talking about Michael Jordan the same exact way that we talk about him now if he was under the same kind of scrutiny and media pressure mm. that he is today as he was 20 years ago. And having we might access have, to all the same resources. Uh, Michael, there was a lot of things that Michael Jordan did that never really came out to light, whereas Facts. LeBron, is, it's a different mm. life that LeBron has to live now, a different microscope. Just throwing it out there. Another thing, oh, that, no, that's some real stuff. That's, that's real talk. I don't want to dive it's, too much into Mike's stuff. You know, Mike got it in, okay? So that's some real stuff. The physicality. You know, they say that LeBron was too soft to play in that era. And it's laughable to me, not only did he play high school football, so the guy loves to hit, um, he's 6'8", 275. We, we're, we're guesstimating well, right, right now. So, so what if he was a little bit soft in the beginning? We got a chance. We, chrono, we chronicled all that. Like, we got inside details of a different age. He couldn't shoot from three. Look at what he's doing now from three. Like, the, way, the no, evolution of his game, yeah. I wonder if we had gotten broke down images or footage of Michael Jordan talking through his struggles his first three or four years. Yep. Because the media wasn't great on Michael his first couple of years now. Yeah. They were, they were questioning his leadership. Is he really a winner? He's a great scorer, but he can't bring other – I mean, 
there were a lot of question marks about Michael his first couple of years. Yeah, in consistency, the league. coaching wise, too. The exactly. triangle fits exactly. That. Well, here's well, here's a question for you guys. You know, we've talked about what LeBron would have done back in the '90s. So let's talk about what MJ would do right now if he were playing. Well, well like I said earlier, uh, MJ scoring averages would be up. And also, let's keep in mind, in the past, there were the MJ rules. You could not touch Michael when he went to the basket, and Michael knew he could get to the foul line at least 10 or 11 times a game. game. Um, I think the scoring average goes up. I don't know if he has this – excuse me. I know Michael Jordan doesn't have the same scoring effect on his teammates and those around him. If you play with LeBron James and you go out and run, he's going to hit you for a wide open layup, a slip dunk. He makes everybody around him better. Now, obviously, you can say Michael Jordan played in a triangle, but ultimately, I haven't seen Michael too effective at running a pick and roll. I know different eras, different styles, but I'm hey, giving that nod hey, to LeBron. We, we, we just need to pump the brakes a right? little bit. That's what I'm right? saying. <laughs> like, I know we're getting, into, we're, we're getting into a debate about the .0000. 0.0001% of the world here with Michael Jordan and LeBron James. I know the styles may be different. I know we're shooting a lot more threes. I know it's a lot more your skill set. Michael Jordan would have probably averaged 35 in this league. I, I'm with the points. Like he, because he is, he, he becomes so myopic on his work ethic. He would have developed a three-point shot. And, if that was okay. more the NBA game, he would have definitely changed his game and fit into the way and the style in which they played. And yeah. it's a competitive advantage. But if it's actually that wins, well. Shanae? No, but is that wins? Is, if you look at the Jordan family tree, let's see how Jordan's look, effect. Look, it's a slurry bird garden. Look Listen, at it. I can't, I can't watch what that. What is the effect <laughs> of Jordan? Without <laughs> Jordan at that time period, would we have Kobe? Oh, would would we have? No. Would we have LeBron? Would we have Kyrie? And I think this is why everyone goes back to Jordan as the greatest of all time, largely because he created this competitive, mm. iconic mindset yes. that has changed the game. Again, LeBron James will continue to change the game, but there are not many 6'8", 220s in the future besides probably Zion.